Hey everybody, Jebediah420 here, back at you with another one of my Nerf videos. And today we're going to be doing another unboxing and review. And it's going to be of a gun that I found at my local flea market. Today I'm going to be unboxing the X-Shot Zuru Rapid Fire. It's a six shot revolving pistol. Let me give you a closer look at it. So here it is, the X-Shot Rapid Fire from Zuru. Um, it's it's from the bug attack series as you can see and it says it shoots 80 feet out of the box so I'm pretty excited to open it it comes with these little bug targets so we have something to shoot at and as usual uh, we got more darts than we need one two three four five six seven eight we got eight darts for our six shot revolver so that's pretty nice thank you X shot not as generous as adventure force but still more generous than Nerf. I don't know why. Nerf, you gotta fix your stuff. Anyways, so let's go back down to the couch and we're gonna just, you know, describe what we see at first and uh, we'll rip it out of the box. Okay, so here we are, back on the couch and uh, let's, uh, Let's take a look at the box though. So, from what I can see right up front, it's got the uh, good old fashioned blaster hub dart range test winner. The sticker is right here on top of the bullets if you want to see. Uh, let's see, what else? Just in case you don't know how to shoot a Nerf gun, they have a description on how to shoot it here on the back of the box. You pull the T pole, squeeze the trigger. And boom, you're a Nerf expert. <laughs> it shows you that these uh, apparently are sticky bugs. They stick to things. And uh, it says, let's see, easy priming. Uh, it's, that's all it says, easy priming. Rapid fire. It just says rapid fire, and it's actually pointing to the trigger. It's got a tactical grip. It actually looks like it has a pretty nice grip. It says award winning darts. That's old news because these darts are not award winning. They can't be. Rotating barrel. I mean, yeah, we, obviously. Looking at the arsenal, they have uh, a few uh, advertisements of other blasters on the back. They got this cool Predator pistol. A sweet eliminator double barrel shotgun and this cool attack bow. Here, let me let me give you a closer look. Here it is. Look at that attack bow. Or that shotgun. Cool. Here's the rest of the back of the box. Okay, so the moment you've all been waiting for. The unboxing. I mean, we could talk about what it looks like all day, but let's pull it out of the box and play with it, right? So I'm gonna Chop these off. Chop, chop. Oh, there's another one. And there it is. The X Shot Rapid Fire Revolving Pistol. Wow. What else do we got in here? We got some darts. Out. So these are the award winning darts. Okay? Flat heads. Insignificant glue all around the edges. Maybe it doesn't have to be glued around the edges. Never seen these darts myself. They're pretty interesting. Now let's pull out these sticky bug targets. Oh, they got sticky feet.
Look at that, sticky feet. We can use those for target practice after. What are these stick to the wall? Ha! <laughs> yeah, as you can see, they just stick to things. Nope. I didn't stick that well. Yeah, they're pretty cool targets. I like them a lot. Um, pretty interesting. Probably just give them to my nephew or something because I don't want him, but he'll love them. Now, let's get to this pistol. It is so cool. Let me give you a closer look at it. Next shot, rapid fire pistol. It's got, I don't know, a little slime design on top. It's pretty sleek. I like the brown handle. Fits in my hand good, and I have adult hands, so that's pretty nice. You guys can see that. As you can see, the barrel's not revolving off the trigger pull. That's some pretty sly design right there. Uh, I'm going to go back to the couch and uh, I'll check it out some more. Alrighty then, so I see that the barrel spins freely as you want to spin it. That's good for reloading. And you know how it doesn't uh, revolve off trigger pull? It's because it revolves off priming. Very, very nice. Very smooth trigger pull. Good lock-ins, very well designed gun, the plastic is very high quality and strong, sturdy, I feel like I could throw this blaster and it will not break, oh yeah, so uh, let's load her up, see how these fit in here, these award winning darts, oh I feel like, look at the length of the uh, air restrictors in there. I'm gonna have to do a, something like that, I don't know. It looks pretty good if you ask me. Performance, I'm very unsatisfied with. Whoa, that one was better. That one was better. I guess maybe the first one just didn't, uh, maybe it was just too tight in the barrel. Because uh, it shoots not bad. I wouldn't say it ranges, maybe it ranges if it, oh, that one came out like a cannon. We're definitely going to have to take this to the chronograph to get some more accurate, precise feet per second. Anyways, <clears throat> um, other than that, the handle, the barrel. The cool design and the high quality plastic of this gun, really good gun. Uh, the overall stock performance, um, not the most efficient, good for any uh, young nerfer who's just getting started, but for any modders out there, I mean it's it's pretty garbage, right? But if you, um, if we just throw like maybe a 7 kilogram spring, I don't know, a K26 or something. See if it can handle that. I see this blaster having a very prosperous future in my arsenal. Anyways, <laughs> I don't see many jams in uh, coming out of this blaster. Uh, good quality performance. Good sturdy blaster. I definitely wouldn't. Uh, I would suggest buying it. I wouldn't say no to it if anyone asked me if they should buy it. Let's uh, take this to the chronograph and then I'll bring it over to the computer to conclude this video and get a better look at everything. And uh, yeah, go to the chronograph. Okay, here we are at the chronograph. And in today's firing test, I figured it would probably be smart to use something that average everyday nerfers use, like these nice waffle darts. We got six shots. Let's give her a shot. Sixty-three, even though I think I skimmed the side. Forty-three. It's hard to get this shot. Seventy-nine. 
79.8. Did it just stay where it was at? 70. Eighty one. Yeah, six shots. Damn. So using these awesome average everyday waffle darts, this thing has a pretty good average spitting out of it, and I can't wait to modify it myself. I'm gonna take this over to my desk and we're gonna do a final breakdown and a conclusion to what I think about this blaster and if you should spend your money on it. Hey guys. Here we are at the desk so I can give you a better breakdown of this gun. So here's a close up view at the Zubru X Shot Rapid Fire. No idea why they call it the Rapid Fire. This is a semi auto six shot revolving pistol. But that is okay because I like it a lot. Alright, so let's break this gun down from top to bottom. Starting at the peak of the pinnacle, we have color. It looks great. It looks like a Nerf and Strike Zombie Strike design. Very beautiful. Green and brown. Everybody loves that. It's got this weird slime design, like some sort of bug slimed on your gun. That is not a jam door, by the way. I have tried to remove it. It doesn't come off. Okay, so let's move on to the size of the handle grip. It is great. Fits in my hand. Amazing. And I am an adult with big hands. So you can tell the people at X-Shot really took their time in designing this blaster. Another way that you can tell is the high quality of the plastic. Very sturdy gun. Will not break. I feel like I can toss this and it won't break. Um, it was very well put together, very sturdy, and all the triggers, clips, locks, and everything works very great on it. So, um, moving forward to some advantages. So, advantages, tactical advantages to this gun are the barrel. The barrel revolves freely as you choose to spin it. So, if you want to load a bullet, 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 and uh, you can as fast as you can. Secondly is this T-pole. Very handy to get right off out of the box because usually in a strong arm, with a strong arm or a Maverick or any other one of those pistols you get from Nerf, you have to buy your T-pole extension separately from a third party company or 3D print it yourself. So getting that right out of the box is very nice, especially with the smart barrel system you have on this thing. So even if I have it like this or anywhere, it's always going to land cocked and ready to go with uh, on a cylinder. See? So that's very handy. So you don't have to worry about your barrel spinning around when you're not cocked and loaded. Oh, uh, let's see. I did I hit all the advantages. We got the handle, the color, the size, the T-pole, the barrel. Okay, so let's go for disadvantages. Um, so a big disadvantage is this gun does not have any tactical rails. There is actually no spot where you could put any end strike attachment or any third party attachment on this gun. It's all for show. Looks great though. So the gun ergonomically is good. Fits in your pocket. Uh, fits in your holster, fits in your hand, shoots very well in succession. I don't see any jams coming out of this gun. When I brought it to the chronograph, it seems to have very nice elite status of shooting 75 feet per second. And uh, it's pretty damn happy with that. Other than that, I would have to say I really suggest going out to buy one of these guns. I'm really happy with the uh, overall results. I'm happy with the performance, the quality, uh, the look, the shape, the size, and the way it works. I would really love to help giving you some ideas on where to go buy one, um, but my best option would be Amazon. I bought mine at a flea market here in town for like $15. I mean, it was about the same price as a strong arm or something, so I figured yeah, it's fair, but I was at a flea market. That's not a very reliable source, so I say hit Amazon. I'm sure you can find it there anywhere between $10 and $15. This was the uh, X-Shot Rapid Fire from the Bug Attack series. Don't forget that. So anyways, concluding the video, I hope you really enjoyed that unboxing and review. Tried to approach a new different style with recording. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about the gun. Let me know what you think about my reviews. Let me know what you want me to review. 
or mod. Yes, I can't wait to mod this gun. So anyways, I'm JibDev420. Thank you very much for coming to watch my video. And uh, see you around.